Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Paul Zulu on behalf of uh, Professor Roma Chilengi. I'm from the Epidemic Preparedness uh, Cluster of the National Institute and also the coordinator for the cholera program uh, currently. So I'll make the presentation on behalf of Zambia and I'll have a few of my colleagues, one of them online and uh, of course our country support uh, platform uh, program manager is with you there uh, in the hall. So we can go to the next slide. So uh, just an update on the situation. Um, definitely a lot has been going on on the cholera uh, front. Zambia is one of those countries that has recorded quite a number of outbreaks, over 32 outbreaks since 1977, varying in magnitude in terms of the numbers and frequency. The last we had was uh, this year, where we've had an outbreak with just slightly over 30 um, uh, cases that we've had in country. And uh, this is an outbreak that uh, I must say we've managed uh, quite well. And uh, effectively with a multi-sectoral response, managed to handle this in a short duration of about three weeks. Uh, we have other strategies that also have been employed in relation to the cholera plan, uh, key being um, the oral cholera vaccination in which we have received over 5.7 million uh, doses to vaccinate in 11 hotspots that we had designated. Uh, these cover a population of about 2.9 uh, million people. As of June, we, have, we had done nine of the 11 hotspots and currently as I speak, we are winding down with the two remaining hotspots doing the vaccination in those areas. Um, and doing quite well as a country in relation to that. Uh, in terms of organization as well, uh, already mentioned, we have the program manager for the country support program, who's even there with you, uh, had actually even gone to support our counterparts in Nigeria with their own uh, activities there. And he's here, of course, to help support and just make our operational, uh, operationalize our national cholera elimination plan. Uh, part of that, of course, he is we have been able to review and update the plan, uh, actually also done the operational uh, plan to just make sure we fully align it with the new government's priorities. As you are aware, we just had uh, a new government uh, come in place just the end of last year. So looking at those aligning the activities uh, uh, that are meant to be implemented uh, in line with the new government commitments and that political commitment that we're receiving. And speaking of political commitment, uh, proud to announce that our Zambian president, His Excellency, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, just recently accepted the role of uh, global cholera champion at the World Health Assembly. And this has helped move things along even in the country to enhance support for cholera at the national level. So ma making sure that cholera is being recognized at the high essential ones of power. Uh, along with that, we've done a hotspot analysis and we've done this to the lowest levels of administration in our country, which is called the WAD. And 46 of the WADs in the 19 districts have had that done, which has helped at least with the partners to just guide areas where we can have targeted interventions. Along with that, we have seen uh, increased budgetary allocation, especially to the wash sector. Uh, an estimate of over one, uh, 129 million US uh, dollars that have been moved to that. And several of these uh, wash projects have been initiated in the hotspot districts. We can move on to the next slide. So in terms of key achievements, and I'll put the challenges and uh, achievements on the same slide. So I'll start with the achievements. Uh, there has been in enhanced uh, partner engagement and collaboration. Um, which we have shared in implementation of issues uh, related to the multi-sectoral uh, cholera elimination plan. And uh, along with that, we have seen very good coordination a multi-sectoral approach. And we, as a country, using um, the same incident management system approach to make sure that we coordinate the various sectors. There's been strong governance and coordination mechanisms put in place and a lot of political will, as already mentioned. Uh, just to support this and just to enhance that smooth multi-sectoral collaboration and implementation of activities in the multi-sectoral 
uh, cholera elimination plan. Uh, along with this, we have a coordinator, as I've mentioned, that supports this uh, collaboration. Uh, for Zambia, uh, the coordination platform sits still under the Ministry of Health, or to be specific, under the National Public uh, Health Institute, which is an agency of the Ministry of Health. Uh, but for now, has been working quite well in coordinating the various uh, uh, sectors. Uh, along with that, we have implemented several cholera preventive and readiness activities, uh, including capacity building through trainings and other means. We have had preemptive uh, oral cholera vaccination campaigns. Uh, of course, we have had uh, one or two reactive campaigns looking at the outbreaks that uh, I just mentioned. But generally, we have not had an outbreak of cholera for the last three years until this one we just faced in uh, 2022. And as I mentioned, the cases were less than 40. Um, as I mentioned, there's been a lot of um, support in terms of financial support uh, towards the program. 75% uh, of ongoing wash projects uh, have been in the cholera hot uh, spots, the districts where we have cholera cases. And I think that has helped move along and improve things uh, quite tremendously in these places. Of course, where you have achievements, you always have a few challenges here and there. Of course, the resources that have gone towards cholera are not always active. Uh, and uh, sometimes this has been impacted by other things, especially COVID-19, uh, which has affected many other programs, including our cholera uh, elimination program as well. Um, there has been a bit of inadequate understanding of the importance of cholera elimination agenda by some key uh, stakeholders which we have tried uh, rigorously to engage uh, through various multi-sectoral platforms where we, we sit with them, making sure all the other sectors are aware of what is going on and we coordinate our activities together. Uh, other things, uh, of course, restrictions that were related to the COVID uh, pandemic, the myths and misconceptions, uh, to some extent, uh, have hurt uh, strides that we have made towards uh, achieving uh, some of the goals we had wanted under the multi-sectoral elimination program, and also inadequate resources for comprehensive preparedness has also affected that. So funding definitely, as you have seen through all the other presentation, also poses quite a challenge. And we hope with prioritization of certain projects, especially under watch, uh, based on evidence that we see from hotspot mapping, that this will change some of those things that we see. We can move on to the next slide. Yeah, so uh, this is just in pictures. Uh, sorry that it's not very clear, but just to show you the key hotspots that we have. Uh, the one highlighted, Lusaka District, that's uh, where the capital city also lies and one of the key places where we see most of the hotspot uh, areas and where most of the cases come in. Uh, we can move on to the next slide. Um, this is just... Uh, in pictures, just to show you how we've been handling cases. This is just uh, one of our cholera treatment centers in one of the hotspots in the northern half of the country, bordering with Tanzania. Uh, it's one of the port towns. Uh, this was just a, a CTC that we are renovating, and you can see how small, but how wonderful it looks. And we hope this has gone a long way in how to manage patients in these uh, facilities. We can move on, next slide. Uh, this is just showing the same things, uh, talking about this is pictures showing the oral uh, cholera vaccination campaigns. You can see varied locations, uh, rural and urban locations where these activities go on. And as I've mentioned, nine of the 11 hotspots were already covered. And right now we are covering the last two of the hotspots. Can move on. Um, this is just looking at risk communications, talking to the community uh, about chlorination and other issues, just making sure that we continue sensitizing uh, the communities on strategies related to cholera elimination. As I've mentioned, Zambia is an ambitious target of eliminating cholera by 2025. Can move on. Uh, same thing, I, I will not belabor the point, but show you the huge mammoth uh, projects that are related to wash, uh, water supply projects in refugee camps, booster pumps for the capital city, just making sure that there is provision of clean and safe water 
to the peri-urban areas that are cholera hotspots in the country. We can move on. So key priorities, I'll go through quickly, looking at the time. Uh, of course, we are looking at finalizing development and resource mobilization for, for the plan. Uh, we're working very hard towards that. We're also looking at other documents like the treatment protocols that we are also in the process of finalizing. We have established provincial and district cholera elimination task forces. These are groups that look at uh, enhancing that uh, multi-sector coordination in the other levels, sub-national levels of our country. We're also conducting capacity building in all the thematic areas, WASH, IPC, case management, and just coordination overly. So we're making sure that hopefully by the end of this year, we'll be able to do that. Um, establishing WASH and solid waste management and surveillance to this, preparedness and emergency response to the hotspots as well is something we're doing. And in line with all this, one of the key pillars, of course, is strengthening laboratory capacity for cholera confirmation uh, in 50% of the hotspots districts. We hope this will be done by quarter one of next year, and we're working tirelessly to make sure that this is done. We're also pre-positioning basic cholera supplies. As I've said, we had no cholera cases for the last three years, but we've seen a few resurgent cases here and there in the hotspots. So just making sure that this is done. And along with that, of course, advocacy for budget in increase in budgetary allocation in the national budget that will go towards uh, the multi-sector cholera elimination. In terms of uh, potential bottlenecks, uh, mostly like other countries, uh, a lack or inadequacy in terms of both human resource and funds that are needed for us to achieve most of the targets that we need to under the plan. So I, I think that should have been my last slide and I'll end there. Thank you very much.